are literally the perfect shoes. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing my Anifa Nuri pumps. I'm so excited for these. This is a black woman owned brand and I think she's located here in the DMV. My package is literally shipped from Frederick, which is less than an hour away from me. She's super cool. But yeah, she is a black designer. Um, remember originally seeing her for the first time her items for the first time back in 2020 when people were highlighting black um black owned businesses i have seen jackie Ina wear her pieces a number of times Aaliyah's face all of the fashion girlies love her i absolutely love her i'm super excited i love her piece very much colorful and out there and i also love that her clothes are tall girl friendly me myself i'm petite but I know that a lot of people complain that they don't have their size. Their legs are a bit too long for a lot of the pieces. But every single thing that I have seen from her flows beautifully. Long or short. So if you're worried about the sizing and all that stuff, that is just a plus. Um, If you're new to my channel, I do a bunch of hauls and unboxings of different shoes and bags and clothes that I really, really like. So make sure you scroll through my channel and check things out. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, comment down below your thoughts on these heels. Give this video a thumbs up. If you absolutely love supporting Black-owned brands, you love heels and you love pink, everything, just give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's get into the video. So, these heels are initially priced at $2.29. I actually just checked and they're still on sale. And I actually caught these for $141 for $141 during the sample sale, which was a few weeks ago um, at the end of August. Um, everything was on sale and I had to get in on these. Um, I've been eyeing them for a while, honestly excited that they were having a sample sale like I was like oh wow like I have to get in on this because a lot of the pieces have been like kind of sold out for like a while so I guess they're making room for their new collection if you're not familiar with sample sales like that is a really good way to get some usually like really exclusive pieces from a designer brand um there's also there's also this Instagram account that I follow long before Instagram they've been doing this it's called the 260 sample sale it is located in New York and if you just Follow their Instagram. They do like something. They do a different brand. A few weeks ago, I caught a Tamara Mellon sale for my mom back in like April. Um, I've seen them do MCM. So all that stuff. If you wanted to know what a sample sale was, follow that Instagram and you'll be tuned in. Yeah, so I got these from the sample sale. Look at this box. So pretty. So pink. Um, I wonder if, I'm not sure if all of the boxes all of the shoes come in this color box or if the box or if the shoes may be the same color as um the shoe i don't know but i absolutely adore this barbie pink box and it has her name anifa it is pronounced anifa not hanifa and i'm so sorry if i said that at any time in this video but it is anifa and at the bottom you see the pink little ring the tag and this is a little sneak peek of the shoe you can see the pink color um i got these in a european 38 i typically in shoes and heels i get an eight this year i've been really trying to grow my heel collection so that i have a wide range i usually last minute am like scrambling to get a pair of heels for an event but i'm like no i need to get like different colors and this i had to get it it's pink it's perfect it's my favorite color and i'm just like so excited it says here that the material is patent cow leather and the style name is nuri and the color pink okay now let's get into the unboxing i'm so excited okay so here is my invoice I actually purchased them for $171.75 plus $10 shipping, so it totaled out to $192.06. And now it is even less expensive. It is $141 on the website. Um, so 
On the inside, we have pink tissue paper. Oh, this is so exciting. My desk is so dirty, but this is the view on the inside. The Hanifa dust bags. They're velvet. Super soft. Of course, they have her name stitched in them. And it's one per shoe, so each shoe has their own box. Here is the first shoe. It is in this pink velvet dust bag super duper soft and then anifa and white i really like the pink and white contrast pink and white is literally always a vibe it's never like not a vibe oh my gosh this looks like a freaking barbie shoe look at this so cute and then the brown on the bottom size 38 i typically get a 38 in my heels and sandals but i'm more of a seven and a half but I need a little bit more room because I don't need my feet hurting when I'm wearing heels. I also love that the heel is not a stiletto because like my legs, I can't, I can't do it. But look at this. I just love the curve that goes into it and the detailing. This is so cute. And then look at her name, niche, stitched in the bottom and the size. Uh, I love it. So this is perfect. This is going to be super easy to walk in. And then the toe right here, it's like a mule. It's very pointy. And then, of course, it has pink tissue paper on the inside. And this right here is so soft and cushiony. Like you can see me pressing on it. This really, really gives. And then Anifa again across the heel. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Like these are beautiful shoes like these literally look like doll shoes that i probably had when i was a kid barbie brats my scene whatever actually these give more barbie but these are so cute so literally flawless not a flaw in sight the pink stitching so it all flows perfectly like these are actually flawless shoes and then I like that the black on the bottom and the brown and like kind of like you can't see it at all like when you look at the shoe like this you can't even tell that there is any difference between the top and the bottom it just flows perfectly but I'm really excited for these shoes. I have a couple of ideas already on how I'm going to wear I'll definitely be probably wearing these as like like with a pair of straight leg ankle pants or maybe a skirt or a dress like in my head I see them with like a denim a straight denim or maybe a straight white pants but definitely skirt or dress would obviously work because it is with heels these are these are it these are hot these are definitely hot I love the Zoe mules and I love the um the zoe boots and i love the pumps speeches i really want the black um boots for the winter so i'm going to check and see if those are also on sale and if they're also still available because i absolutely have to have them this winter um last winter they were sold out but this winter if they're in i have to get them i need to have them i think every hot girl needs a pair of some Hanifa heels and it's really exciting seeing black women being uplifted in this way like stuff that's for us by us like these are gonna be my absolute favorites like I know when I go out I honestly don't wear heels much but I'm gonna be forcing these with everything and I have so much pink in my wardrobe like honestly it's not gonna be hard but I'm going to be wearing these with literally everything although I said I needed to grow my heels collection like I don't even care these are gorgeous like these are easily going to be my favorite heels and these are going to be worth so much money like 10-15 years from now like when her empire like blows up like I have literally a collector's item also when you guys when you see like a new black owned designer and you see that they're hot why not like try to get in on it you know not only like I know that's like a thing where people are like oh I'm first I'm first I'm first like not only are you uplifting like an entrepreneur but like you're 
taking part in history like these are so gorgeous like i know that she's been out for like a few years now but i finally got them and i think these are actually newer these might have came out in the spring because i remember seeing these for the first time in maybe april so yeah i'm definitely excited for it. i'm gonna show you guys these on my feet then we're going to close out the video i've got them on my feet to have a little bit of room in the back because like i said these are uh 38 so i guess i could have fit more of uh seven and a half which i don't typically go for but since i do have some wiggle room in these shoes that is absolutely perfect i am not complaining you can see the tip toe of this very sharp very pointy it's very comfortable so far um also with this heel i know that i'll be able to manage for a longer period of time because it's not super skinny it does go out a little bit which is my preference it's not like super chunk heel but it is good enough to stand especially if you're not used to wearing heels which i'm not and an easy way to transition into wearing heels is to kind of go from chunky to skinny so i'm standing up now and i'm on carpet you can't really get a good gauge of how it is to stand but these are absolutely perfect they're so freaking cute but I will take a couple of steps and let you guys know. Although, it, like I said, it's carpet. But these are really, really pretty. They just remind me of a Barbie doll. It's giving black Barbie. Yes. And it also shows my foot tattoo perfectly, which I absolutely love. I love any shoe that shows off the perfect amount of my tattoo. Usually shoes cut off like at least half of my tattoo, but with these sandals it goes right above my toe like my big toe like the split between the two toes is like right here so it shows enough of my tattoo which i love which is not even something that i considered when i was like looking into the shoe i just thought these were cute <laughs> but these are perfect oh my gosh i can't wait to wear them so check out stay tuned on my channel because you will be seeing them again now that we know that these are a perfect freaking fit, so good to walk in, such a good silhouette. Like, honestly, these are like inspiring me to learn more about heels more so that I can be more experienced speaking about them. But you guys know that I love shoes, okay? So yeah, I'm definitely getting more into heels. You can see like these are literally the perfect shoes but that is all for today's video make sure you guys check out anifa and all of her items and look into the 260 sample sale also keep an eye out for more sample sales and things like that if you are into designers and you do you would like to get something that's a little bit more exclusive or at a discounted price make sure you check that out look into it um i wouldn't recommend buying anything from an individual designer from a reseller I mean I don't support resellers in general but I know people try it and I know people do and I know people resell things for different reasons maybe they just don't like them but like the people that make careers off of reselling I wouldn't support I would just try to get them straight from the source so keep your eye out for new and different items and different events that um designers have i know that this past weekend telfar held an event at the rainbow on fulton street in brooklyn and had thousands of telfar bags for people that can't usually get them or people that are just fans in general so this was his first time selling them in a store in person um which a great way which was a great way to like show out for the community also i know exactly where that was and um that was like a perfect location. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it went yet, but I just know that it was popping. But that's all for now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm super excited for these shoes. I'm so happy that I finally got a pair. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts on these heels. If you've heard of Anifa before and what, and if you like the brand, if you've gotten anything else from her but that is all for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video